Hello, this is Janet16, and today I'm doing a very, very, very special unboxing um, of something I've wanted for a couple of weeks, and here it is. You can probably see me in the background. Hello. Um, this is a B142245 Berry Wiggins Tanker. And this is from Lionheart. You can, you can't. There you go. There's the uh, crest or emblem. So let's go to the box. These are new tankers they released, and they are also releasing a twenty or is it twelve? It might be the no sixteen ton uh, steel wagons as well. But I will be getting one of them. As soon as I can, I'm just going to see if there's something. One second, Daddy, please. Everything goes wrong. Right, sorry about that. Um, I want to pop the camera up a bit. There we go. That's better. You can get a better look at it. I should have done that first, but I've got so much going on today. And here it is. Again, they're packaging. Everyone is doing this now with the um, ice, plastic ice. And I really do like it. It keeps everything secure. And it's a really good packaging system. So let's have a look at the tanker. Here it is. Number 106. Now, the reason I bought this is because I live in the Forest of Dean. And these were on the Forest of Dean Railways. Um, they they were actually based in London, but there was a lot of these in the forest. I, I'm not too sure on the history in that, but that's where I got one because there's one actually down the bottom of where I live, Sinford. They got one in um, on just a piece of rails where the old Sinford station used to be. But really good detail, free link coupling, sprung buffers. Um, they retail about £66. I believe I paid 60 I'm not sure if I paid 60 or 66 I think I paid 66 actually. And I got another as well put by for me, but without ladders and silver, but same livery. And that's 120, where this is 106. Um, but all in all, it's a great model. I've only actually had it on a layout, not working yet, because I'm doing all works with the electrics and just taking for ever but really nice detail and the writing is really good if I just get the camera there you go Berry Wiggins and there's the crest or emblem and what really took me on detail was the top of how much they've gone in with this little safety valve or whatever it is and the cap really good I really do like that. The under frame, pretty basic. I mean, there's a bit of detail there. I thought it was quite a bit of detail. But these tankers were pretty basic. They didn't have much detail on them. Um, I really do like how they've done the shape of it as well. It, it feels nice. And it's just an all-in-all -all great tanker. And um, Lionheart have released several tankers. And they're releasing their second batch now. Uh, which the silver ones in, which I got, like I said, put by. One thing I will note, the hook. These are usually sprung for working with um, trains and on the layout. These end, which is quite unusual because that's the first wagon I've got that are not sprung. Um, they don't seem to be, anyway. No, they end. Which is all right. Um, all my wagon kits I've built, I took the spring out of them, I've just made them like this, where they're stuck in, and that's fine with me. So all in all, it's a great wagon. If you are doing old gauge, and old gauge can be expensive, you can just buy one of these, £66, ain't too bad, considering it's a nice wagon, you're getting what you pay for, the detail's great, and I know some of the kits are quite dear, and by the time you spent the money on the kit, you would have probably bought this twice. You can, they've also brought out one that's plain black where you can put your own livery on it. And I think that's a really good idea and I have thought about maybe doing my own. Um, but anyway, that's it for me for this review. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will put some pictures of what I took down the shed when I got out first. And thanks for watching and bye until next time.